Messing up edits and builds are common problems for fast editors. Nothing can mess up a clip more than messing up a simple edit that you've done thousands of times before. So in this video, I will be going over many simple ways to fix this problem, or at least minimize it in your builds. Most players can't edit fast for too long. It's quite natural to mess up. Even when I edit fast, I mess up much more than you would think. After all, I only post my successful edits and clips to my channel. My playstyle favors consistency over speed. If you mess up frequently, I would recommend setting your sensitivity a bit lower and going for consistency instead. It's good to find balance with sense. You want it to be high enough to make edits quick and impressive, but low enough that messing up is minimized. When I use a faster sensitivity, I can make it look like my edits are much faster. My crosshair moves around with impressive speeds, but the clip doesn't last too long because I can't keep up. It's not impossible to get used to, but it's best to find a sweet spot between the extremes. I keep my sense between 8 and 12% with 800 dpi. There are many reasons players mess up. Some are out of our control, like a lag spike or getting shot at. But there are a few secrets to preventing the ones within our control. Getting jammed up against builds happens often to beginners. This is when you are editing slower than your running speed, and you eventually run into one of your builds. There are two things I would recommend to fix this. First is strafe editing, which is adding distance between edits by moving diagonally back and forth. If you are doing very exaggerated strafes, it's obvious that you are slowing down to make your edits. But you can make more subtle strafes by combining crosshair movement with your movement binds. For instance, when doing a quad edit, your crosshair goes all the way to the right. Rather than straightening yourself out, you can move to the left just enough to create strafe. Controller players can control their movement speed by not pushing the joystick all the way. You should try and break these habits once your edits are fast enough because it is obvious when you are trying to strafe to create more edit room. The second is to practice using movement modulation. This is using a map that makes you move faster. As you play on it, you will get used to the fast speed. When you set it back to normal, builds and edits will feel like slow motion, making it easier to edit. I linked a full video on this topic in the description. Sometimes I feel overwhelmed when I'm editing too fast, so rather than stopping, I will slow my pace for a little bit to regain my focus. Learn what edits are easiest and use them when you get overwhelmed. When I recorded this 10 minutes of fast editing video where I did a 10 minute non-stop free build, I used this strategy a lot because my arm was getting tired and I couldn't keep up a fast pace for a full 10 minutes. Making the wrong edit is probably the most common problem while fast editing. If you've ever edited a cone and it turns into a Dorito, you're not alone. Arch edits can become doors, cones can become triangles or corners, and stairs can get flipped the wrong way. This is my most common mistake. It's really easy to lose focus and mess up an easy edit you've done countless times before. Unless you practice non-stop to not lose focus, this is unavoidable. It is better to create an if-then sequence in your mind to keep your momentum up when the long edit is made. What I mean by this is to not get frustrated after messing up. Getting frustrated means the free build ending, and your mood will worsen so you'll continue messing up. Learn to improvise and problem solve when things go wrong. If you edit a door, then run through the door. If you edit a Dorito, then turn in a different direction. If you flip the ramp the wrong way, then go with it and jump on it and keep moving. Learn to catch yourself in all of these situations so these mistakes don't break the momentum and the free build can stay fluid. This also works with putting builds in the wrong spot. Try to make any mistake look natural and use it to your advantage. 